right guys, we are camping today. We got some sausages on the go here. Beautiful nature. We have our tent here. Bird in the sky. And again, two days of sun. That's right. Two days of good weather and then it rains up for the whole week. <laughs> We got two days of good weather today, tomorrow morning. After rain, that, rain, again. <laughs> rain for the whole week. So we're definitely trying to get advantage of this uh, gorgeous weather. Fireplace photography is probably one of my favorite genres of photos. I'll just show you guys a little more around here. It's all pretty much forest. And you got like a small creek right where that piece of wood is there. So you can wash your hands, your dishes, whatnot. Also there's a trail coming through here. Through the bushes, there. A tiny walking trail. Take your bike down there. And uh, I'll just show you where I get my wood from. So, you see these burnt, burnt chunks of wood here. Uh, all along the highway here, they have, um, wow, they have multiple campsites or campfires like this just randomly in the bushes. And a lot of people leave their wood behind, so just grab my car here. Uh, I got a plastic bag, just put it down, and then uh, yeah, I just collect whatever people leave behind the pieces of wood there, take them. They really work great. Pretty lucky at this spot. This spot's fairly secluded, we don't really have any people around us. It's kind of nice, private spot here, and um. And I found like wood like this as well. Whoops, I found wood like this as well. Um, I was all over in the bushes, so firewood's not really a problem here. But these, these chunks of uh, charcoal wood work pretty great. There's Isabel walking around. Hello! here just to show you what it's like and if you ever come camping this way um oh check out that moon there you go see the moon there looking magnificent so yeah basically <clears throat> where we're camping if you guys watched the last video I mentioned, no, sorry, if you guys watched the water tin video, the water tin vlog, I mentioned that we don't do that sort of camping and campgrounds, that sort of thing, but uh, this is kind of the camping we, we do. Um, this is government land, so basically you just pull off a road here randomly, wherever, it doesn't have to be a road even, <laughs> you just park wherever, pitch your tent, make a campsite, make a campfire, good to go. But yeah, I mean, you can gather wood here. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll uh, show you the highway here. So right, right there. Oh, and who's that? Isn't that the star of making tracks? Well, I think it is. No. Huh? As we can see, my uh, lovely wife is here taking photos. As you can tell, 
This is the highway. Oh, let me adjust that uh, aperture for you there. There we go, that's a bit better. So this is a highway. You got the road here, beautiful mountains. And yeah, basically, oh, you can drive for an hour. And you just find these pull-offs. They're all over the place, very random. And pick your spot. I don't know if you can see that. There are my cars in the bush there. A little, little white flake in the bush. Yeah, pick a spot. There you go. That guy's got a dirt bike. Oh, wow. Look at that moon. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna stop here and take a photo and I'll uh, get back with you guys. Beautiful shot of the moon there as well as the mountains. Unfortunately, with my camera, I can't quite get a great shot with it. However, I ordered a new lens, a 24 to 70 mil. So hopefully in the future, shots like that, I'll be able to capture. Isabel here has the lens, or sorry, the lens and the tool for the job. <laughs> yeah, so for the car. Yes. We have one small problem for the morning. I it's should mention this now. It's too steep to come out. Because <laughs> my car has uh, like big rims with small tires, like low profile tires. So my car is very low to the ground and we got to get out of this tomorrow. And the problem is that where the gravel is, there's too many holes. I was thinking like kind of going that way there. And then coming here and slow right into that pole. Yeah, so that. Yeah, that's a plan. Um, not, not just like straight this way, more like going. Straight. If Isabel reminds me, I'll make a video in the morning and I'll put it in this vlog. We'll see. Uh, she'll be camera woman, she'll be here. I'll be there with my car trying to race up here. <laughs> oh, you want me to be out of the car? You can take the video of me trying to get out. Yeah, like here, uh, my car, my car would not make it through that. I mean, it would, there's but no you would you destroy the underneath. Yeah, there's a <laughs> pretty excited for in a couple hours. The sun's gonna go down. And I'm really looking forward to getting some really sick fireplace shots or some shots of the sky, uh, the sky, the stars, or the moon. Because there's not a cloud in sight, and it is super clear. As you guys can tell in the video, extremely clear. No clouds, not even a tiny fluff in sight. Super pump. I'm talking about uh, how I'm super pumped that tonight is completely clear. There's not even a single cloud in sight. So I'm talking star photography, moon photography, epic fireplace photography. We always call it Not tonight. Because it's late May, so... Because it's, it, there's, there's light till 11. Not now. At night. No, not now. Well, it's, we'll it's only see. May. We'll see. No, no, no. Because what time is it now? Like 9? Is it really 9? Past 9? Okay, it's 9, 10. Ah, I'm look sure. at it. Yeah. Well, that's a sick picture. All right, I take a photo of this. fire happening here. Hey, what time is it? <laughs> Let me check the time here. And how is it light? Yeah, it's 10.07 uh, and it's still yeah. daylight. There are no stars. And it's still daylight at 10.07 here in Canada. <laughs> um, yeah, I, didn't, I thought it would have been dark by now. I was incorrect. My lovely wife was correct. 
Here, let's give the correct face. There we go. Let, let me zoom in on that. Zing! Yeah. Well, I hope, hopefully I can get a shot of those stars. I just stopped alongside the highway here. We were driving past this lake in the mountains and it's just absolutely gorgeous. You gotta check this out. Look at the color of that water. And you have this gorgeous reflection of the mountain. You can really see it right there. Pretty amazing stuff. All right guys, that's the end of this vlog. Um, covered a few things there, I think. A little bit of camping, this cool, uh, cool lake view. I think we're going to take a few more photos here and uh, head back to the car as well. When we left our campsite this morning, there was a bear on the side of the road. Unfortunately, I don't have a telephoto lens, but Isabel does, so I'll, uh, I'll throw that image, image here in the video. I don't know where I'm going to throw it, at the end of the video or in the beginning? I'll figure out that. You know what? I'm going to throw it in the beginning, so if you guys are watching this, you already seen the photo of the bear. <laughs> All right. Take some more photos here.